A new report has shed light on a disturbing failure in our hospitals. Elderly patients are waiting too long to be moved into aged care, adding to the overcrowding crisis. And it's prompted yet another state and federal government blame game. The overcrowding crisis in our hospitals has most recently been blamed on a spike in flu cases. But new figures point to another cause, delays in moving elderly patients into aged care. Those beds that could otherwise be used, used for people who need them are being used for people who are simply waiting, waiting for an appropriate place. A Productivity Commission report found 24 of every 1,000 hospital patient days in SA are being used by older people waiting for residential aged care. That's more than double the national figure. Frustrated doctors say the problem is clogging our already besieged hospital system. There isn't so there spending time in those beds that uh, we need for other patients. In July last year, the federal government introduced a new means-based test for those seeking to live in an aged care facility. And it's that test that the state government says is to blame for the delays. And as Stephen Wade and the Liberal Party are serious about doing something about helping our public hospitals, they need to talk to their mate Tony Abbott and get them to fix it. Health Minister Jack Snelling says federal government cuts to both sectors are also to blame. We've got another example of Tony Abbott just basically forcing problems under our public hospitals. Rhett Burney, Nine News.